We often get asked if we've got uh, divers in the water recovering the timber. Although we had some divers in the initial feasibility study, it's all mechanised those days. The forest is standing up, it's just the lake levels rise, so we float across the top of the surface and reach down with our excavator arm and cut the trees off underwater. The timber's exactly the same once it's been dried out. We need to dry it out a little bit slower, which is why we bring it inside a shed to keep it out of the sun and the wind. But uh, once we've killed it, it's the same as any other timber. The hydrowood's um, fundamentally from an ancient forest and we see some amazing qualities in the Tasmanian timbers we're recovering. The grain and the colour are, are absolutely unique. You can do whatever you want with hydrowood timber. It's, uh, uh, it's wood, so uh, architectural products, flooring, linings, furniture, some species we can use for external claddings. We've found, and a lot of the furniture makers have commented that the timber being submerged for 40 years has actually relaxed it and it makes it easier to work. I think Simon Anker described it as being uh, a timber that's uh, like working with butter. So uh, that's an amazing quality. Hydrowood being submerged in cold, fresh water on the west coast of Tasmania means it's perfectly preserved when, uh, when we recover it and then process it. Yeah, it's actually 50%. So the specific gravity of our timber when we pull it out, getting my nerd on, is actually, it's like two. So there are sectors, it's like rock. We thought they would be neutrally buoyant or even potentially positively buoyant, but they actually sink like rocks. So it's very heavy when we pull it out. And then that's why we're very careful to get the water out of it in a controlled way. Our recoveries are better because the timber's more relaxed and when we put them through our sawmill, the recovery is higher than it would otherwise be. We don't pull the trees out roots and all. We actually got an underwater chainsaw on the end of an excavator arm that goes down and cuts the logs off cleanly. So there's very minimal impact to the environment. Uh, we keep the turbidity low, sedimentation low, and we don't disturb the lake bottom during our harvesting operations. A 12 by 16 metre barge that weighs about 165 tonnes with a 42 tonne excavator on it and a 12 metre harvesting arm. We've also got a 28 metre extendable harvesting arm for deeper operations um, and we found that to be really successful. So it's driven by hydraulic thrusters underwater which gives it full manoeuvrability and it's driven by one person in the cab of the excavator who controls both the harvesting operations and the barge itself. Uh, we then bring alongside log barges uh, and the harvested logs are placed on those barges uh, and then taken away by our tugboat. And generally we're operating in a range of up to about 15 nautical miles from the landing at uh, Lake Pinham. In order to operate Hydrowood 1, which is a harvesting barge, you need at least a Master 5 qualification. In order to dry the timber, uh, after it's come through the sawmill, we'll put it in the shed and leave it to air dry for about a year, depending on the thickness of the timber, and then kilning following that to, to get into a, uh, a saleable form. So we don't uh, have any oils or contamination. We've got stringent environmental processes as part of our environmental management plan, even down to the point where the hydraulic oil in the excavator is actually biodegradable. Uh, and that's part of our uh, part of our license conditions. We've got supply available, but what we really enjoy is when people can give us uh, specifications on their particular project, and we can cut a specific profile in the right species for that project. We've estimated that there's there's over sixty thousand cubic metres of of saw log in Lake Pyman, which will last us between five and ten years. We estimate that uh, our sales in the, in the future will be between 10 and 12 million a year and uh, there's at least 10 years worth of uh, timber production out of Lake Pond. Thanks for expressing an interest in Hydrowood. We look forward to you being part of the next chapter. <laughs>